Hey guys, today I come to you with this inspired braided faux hawk look. Selena Gomez sported this hairstyle at the MTV Movie Awards last weekend and I thought it was really funky. It's definitely not an everyday hairstyle, but it's trendy and fun, so let's begin. First off, brush your hair to detangle any knots. Use a rat tail comb and tease your bangs to give it some volume. Now if you don't have bangs, just pick up hair near your forehead and do the exact same thing. Use hairspray to freeze the back and the front. To create the bump or the pompadour, gather your hair, push it forward, and secure it in place with a bobby pin. Use the end of your rat tail comb to adjust the height of the pompadour. When you're happy with it, give it one more spray. Now the braided faux hawk is simply a Dutch braid, so gather your hair at the top, divide it into three sections, and start a regular Dutch braid. So take the left strand, place it underneath the middle, then take the right strand, place it underneath the middle, Drop the left strand for now, but pick up some hair. Now add it to that left strand and place it underneath the middle strand. Same with the other side, pick up hair, add it to the right strand and place it underneath the middle strand. Once again, add hair to the left strand, braid it underneath the middle strand, then hold it in place. Gather some hair, add it to the right strand, and braid it underneath the middle. As you can see, a Dutch braid is almost like a French braid, except you're crossing the strands under instead of over. Continue this braid until you reach the nape of your neck, and make sure that you pick up every strand of hair along the way. When you reach the nape of your neck, continue this braid without picking up hair. If you want to, you can also move this braid to the side. When you're close to the end, tie it off with an elastic band. To make the side of your hair look sleek, spray it with hairspray. Get a fine tooth comb, run it through your hair and push it to the back. This is also a good time to smooth out any bumps, so hold your hair at the back and pin it in place with a few bobby pins. You don't want to stick your bobby pins in horizontally, you actually want to stick them in downwards. This will keep your hairstyle in place. Again, when you're happy with the look, give it one last spray. Now Selena's braid was big and messy, so here I'm just tugging on my braid a bit to give it some volume. Be sure not to pull your hair all the way out because you don't want your braid to come undone. Then you want to do the exact same thing at the back, and if your bobby pins start to pop out, just pop them back in. Don't be afraid to make this hairstyle look messy because you want it big and messy. You don't want it to look like a regular Dutch braid. If you want, you can remove your bobby pin and stick a smaller one in so that it won't be noticeable. Do some last minute touches and BAM! So here's the completed look inspired by Selena Gomez. This hairstyle is definitely a hit or miss. You either hate it or you love it. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Ciao! Subscribe to my channel to be notified of new videos and feel free to check out my other hair tutorials.